okay assalamu alaikum in in today video i am going to explain to you uh, how we can solve system of ode using matlab uh, just before this i i explain how to solve one ode and now we have uh, you can see a uh, system of ode so so like for example this one we have dy over dt and dz over dt so y and z they are vary, varying with time and in y uh, you can see we have y here and then z also we have y here so we cannot solve this two uh, ode separately we have to solve it together so this is this is called coupled odes system of odes okay it's very easy as uh, what we can do uh, we can you know y and z this two variable can be combined in one vector okay uh, like remember uh, we wrote a code for coefficient polynomial so a vector was having a0 a1 a2 and we combine them in in vector a where a1 becomes a0 a2 um, becomes a1 and so on so what we are going to do uh, dy by dt and dz by dt so y is one variable and z is one variable so we can combine this to one vector for example here this is now dx dt at t comma x okay so x is a new vector which we can make it x1 okay x1 like this equals y and then x2 we can equal z okay so this is now so when we say dx dt add equals t comma x so x is a vector now i will assume that x1 is y so 2y means 2x1 plus 5 this is time only okay minus y is x1 times x2 z becomes x2 so x vector is containing both variables y and z x2 square by 2 so this is the way you define the differential equation now uh, see one thing dy dt and dz dt this also has two element now this two differential equations we can combine as a vector so that is dx dt so I change this to x and you can change any value uh, any uh, any variable doesn't matter but this has become vector the first element is this and then uh, separated by semicolon and then you define the second one okay and then you, the solver t comma x x is a vector you will get 2x ode45 dx dt this is the differential location we have um, define a time span 0 to 0 0.4 and initial values now we have two variables so we need to give the two initial values here y0 is 2 z0 is 4 so at t equal 0 y is 2 and t equal 0 z is 4 so this is t comma 4 okay so let me write this differential location um, I can open new A new skip file so dy dt and dz dt so i can uh, just combine in one vector i will just change a little bit suppose i i make it dv dv dt okay it doesn't matter okay equal at t comma x okay or anything doesn't matter any variable t comma w suppose and w remember is a vector now my w1 will be y and w2 will be z okay so 2y it means minus 2 times w1 plus 5 5 times exponential minus t okay <coughs> So this is now like this and then the 
second one is minus y z square so minus y is minus w1 times w2 square divided by 2 okay w1 w2 it will be a vector okay so i will use dot here okay okay that's it so my definition equations are defined now i need to use the solver t is a time domain my output is w ode45 at what's the differential equation not at no need at d v d t okay comma time span from where to where you want to solve zero t equals zero to 0.4 this is suppose given to you and then initial values 2 and 4 same column 4 or space both works okay so if I run it okay I need to save this 0 file name if I run this Okay. I will go to command window. Now see here what we have T. Okay. At different T, this is T all, then we have W. First one is W1, second one is W2. So in this case, if you want to take only one of them so it's not plot just i suppose w1 this is the first one okay this is w1 but we have w so if you want to call the second variable so w semicolon 2 okay and similarly if you want to plot For example, you can go back to the code. Okay, plot t comma w. W has two uh, two elements, so it will plot both of them. Okay. Yeah, you can see uh, starting from four is the uh, w two, which is this one. Okay. And then this is 2, uh, w1, which is y. It was in differential equation, it was y. Okay. So, <coughs> so for your, if suppose you want to make it sure that w1 is, y is w1. Okay. Then z is w2 okay now let me see if i can plot t comma y okay so uh, y should be w semicolon 1 so it will take the first column uh, of w if you see what do we have here in term of w okay w as you can see this one is the is a matrix so if you want to take the first column column of this you must say as i explained to you first comma one okay so here we go then similarly z so plot t comma y if you want to plot one of them or, or just you can say plot w semicolon uh, colon comma one so this is the first if you want to plot only one of them okay and similarly 
if you want to plot z you can say z here is the z okay so this way you can solve system of uh, system of ode uh, more than one ode in one system okay i have one more example here uh, which is little bit interesting uh, you can see here example of series reaction okay and chemical engineering students they can understand more but does it matter just there are three differential equations okay dca over dt dcb over dt dcc over dt okay k1 k2 are the constant values okay you can see it's given here so ca cb cc is like you can say u v w same doesn't matter so ca cb there are three variables varying with time and we have you can see ca cb and uh, here okay so we we need to find uh, ca cb and cc with time cc with time so these three differential equations okay i have uh, to define okay you can see here dc dt i combine this three of them together at t comma c c now here becomes vector so it doesn't matter you put c or v doesn't matter the same thing so c is a vector c1 will be the ca so k1 the first differential equation is minus k1 c1 this become c1 okay this become c2 so this is semicolon uh, k1 c1 minus k2 c2 semicolon third and third and then t comma c o d 4 5 dc dt this is the dc dt time span initial values is it action a going to b b going to c so initially only you have a so a is 8 there is no b there is no c so if you run this code you will get the concentration of c a c b and c c versus time okay uh, i will i hope i have it here yeah you can see so here we define the differential equation i combine the c a c b and c c in a vector c this is the only key thing okay you have to understand if you have variables u v w and you have d u by d t d v by d t d uh, d w by d t you can combine one vector so similarly here in, in this example we had c a c b and c c so i combine all the, them in one vector c so c1 becomes c a c2 becomes c b and so on and that's it t comma c and this one and this one has to be same okay now d and this is the uh, differential equation where you have defined this one and time span initial values okay initial values you can put as a space or as semicolon both works okay so if you run this one you see the graph interesting graph you get uh, okay let me use k normal value of k1 and k2 and now you see here C A, this is A. A is being consumed, okay? So A will con uh, convert to B. So A is supposed to decrease with time, okay? And B starts forming from A. And after some time, we will go to C. So that's B also decreasing. And then C, consider C, C. Initially, there is nothing. So after that, it starts increasing. So this is an interesting graph, but yes, for you it's the solving uh, solution of three differential equations. Okay, and uh, for chemical engineering student, I can play with the K1 and K2 and see what is which one which reaction is dominating. So K2 I increase it, so B to C will be faster now. So let's see if I have K2 very high than K1. You will see graph 
yes you can see uh, c started very fast because b will go to c faster and then c b c b is very low because as you no know, b is formed is going to c anyway so that's the main thing system of uh, ode if you have more than one um, ODE, you have to combine the variables, 2, 3, 4, doesn't matter, in one variable and make it vector and you will see one, uh, 1, 2, 3 and so on and this sample should be enough, okay? Uh, I hope it works and you will be able to solve now the system of ODE using solver, ODE 4, 5 or ODE 2, 3, yeah, doesn't matter, okay? Thank you. All the best.